Just days after British Prime Minister Boris Johnson called for smaller holiday gatherings during relaxed restrictions, he's not ruling out a third lockdown in England after Christmas as COVID-19 cases continue to rise. Uh, we're hoping very much that we'll be able to avoid anything like that. But the, the reality is that the uh, rates of infection have increased very much in the last few weeks. But if that lockdown happens, some experts suggest it could last until February and must impose tough restrictions across much of the UK. This is the time to look after, uh, think about our elderly relatives, avoid spreading the disease, uh, keep it short, keep it small, you know, have, a, have yourselves a, a very little Christmas, as I, as I said uh, the other night. That is, I'm afraid, the way through this year. But even little gatherings are too big for Europe's World Health Organization director. Tweeting, more than half a million people have lost their lives to COVID-19 in our region. He urged people to stay home, adding, it's not worth the risk. Depuis hier matin, j'ai été testé positif à la COVID-19. Meanwhile, Emmanuel Macron sending a message from self-isolation. The French president says he's doing fine and working at a slower pace after testing positive for COVID-19. Italy could be on the verge of temporarily locking down over Christmas and New Year's. It was the first Western country to be hit by the virus back in February and now has a death toll of over 67,000 people. Global confirmed cases have now surpassed 75 million. And while plans continue for vaccinations, a shipment is expected to arrive in Spain and Greece on December 26th, with vaccinations slated to begin the following day. Greece is currently under lockdown until the new year, which includes a night curfew. All this while a post-Brexit trade deal looms. A top EU negotiator says they've entered the moment of truth, with the two sides reaching the final few hours to reach a deal this weekend if the agreement were to take effect January 1st. A notable obstacle, EU fishing rights in British waters. Melissa Duggan, City News.